You know, I was sitting there thinking to myself that I really don't think a lot of people are fully aware. I think uh, a great number of people have an idea um, of the times that we're living in, but I really don't think a lot of people are fully aware of the times that we are now living in. We are in the midst of a spiritual battle. Just about everything that we do, what we hear on television, what we hear in the music, what we see in the schools, in politics, just in everyday life itself is a spiritual warfare. And many of us are not really even aware of that. So we really have to be mindful of what we say, what we do, and even the people that we link ourselves to. Now, there are people that's eating and marrying and being given in marriage, just like when, uh, before Noah had boarded the ark and the floods came and wiped out civilization as they knew it at that time. People are doing the same thing today and they are marrying without even realizing it, they are marrying demons. And then they live their life as a life of hell, okay? Now, many of us had recently watched a YouTuber that goes by the name of Hassan Campbell. And I'm gonna put this in a way that maybe a lot of people had not really thought about. But we watch a YouTuber summon death to himself. I really don't think he was aware of the outcome of his actions. That's why we have to be careful of what we say and what we call to ourselves. Be careful of the words that leave your mouth because we're living in times where it's so much easier to summon demons without even realizing. Then we wonder why our lives are the way it is today. We wonder why bad things happen to us and then we want to blame it on God when God had nothing to do with it, but it was according to your own free will and accord. It was all because of something you said, something you invited to yourself. And there's people that love to use curse words. Every other word is a curse word, not realizing that that word, those words carry power and authority. But in these days and times, it is so much easier to call damnation and curses to yourself because we're living in a world that's being cohabited, being operated, being controlled by demonic forces. We watched a man on YouTube call death to himself. Now, a lot of y'all thought that he had mental health issues, which I believe he does. And there's a thin line between mental health illness and spirituality. And spirituality is not always glimmer and gold. Spirituality also is contained in demonology. Okay. So when you see that dark side, what we refer to as the dark side, that is also spirituality. That's negativity. That's the dark side, but it's still spiritual. And it has nothing to do with God. So we watched this man stand outside Bronx River apartments and he called death to himself. We saw no individual as a result of his words and what he was saying and the emotions that he was dealing with at that time. We started seeing bottles flying. At that point, those were warnings that demons were listening 
Yes, it was human beings that were doing it in the flesh. But those individuals or that person that was throwing those bottles, they were being controlled by a different force. Believe it or not. Now, some of you are going to be able to receive this and some of you are not going to be able to receive this. But the minute he started summoning these demons of death, he started seeing bottles flying. And at one point in time, one bottle just missed his head. And he was cursing and he was railing. He started speaking demonic languages. And then before you realize it, someone or two individuals were coming from the very dark, from a totally different part of the projects that he was railing and ranting. Of course, yeah, he was at a very low point in his life. But in the background, death was coming. You saw two dark images that were wearing masks and all black. And at that last moment, at that moment, he recognized that he messed up and he cut the camera off. And then he ended up in the hospital with a gunshot wound. That young man that was with him, that warned him and said, yo, man, no, you need to leave. That was his angel saving him at that moment. Now, I want to read a scripture to you right quick, and I'm going to end this. And it's taken from the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, reading just the second verse. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Now, a lot of y'all like to say has fallen, but it is fallen. Currently, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's in the book of Revelation. So we're living in times where you really have to be careful what you say. Because I don't think he really expected that kind of result or that kind of um, answer to his call. He called out for the shooters. Where are the real shooters? And the shooters appeared. That was deep. Okay, so I'm going to end it right here. Just got out the shower. I'm feeling good. Put some shea butter on my face, my head. That shea butter makes your head look nice, though, man. I appreciate shea butter. Look, y'all need to get some. It's right there in the link in the bottom there, right? That stuff is good, though. And I look good for, for 53. I'll be 53 next month. I still look good, though. But anyway, feedback. Tell me what you think. And be careful what you say. Be careful of the company that you keep. Especially be careful who you lay down with. This is an old saying my mother used to say. You lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. Okay, so feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.